I think I've stumbled across a nice looking honey hole. I think it was one of you guys that told me about this pond having a lot of bullheads in it. So I brought my gear with me and I'm going to see if there's bullheads here. I might actually have to carp fish here too because I saw some giant carp working this bank down here. So this is a nice little creek pond. And I think this is a brand new greenway too that's built around it. This walkway goes all the way around this entire pond area. And it has this island in the middle. And there's Clinton. I talked him into coming down here and fishing this with me to see what we can catch. Tell you what, getting access to water here is going to be a little bit difficult. I've walked around and there's no easy way to get to the water. However, in the future, I might try carp fishing from that rock bank. I think I can actually get to it. Bring my carp pod out there, put it on the rocks, and avoid all that poison ivy that's on it. But for now, I'm going to try to catch some bullheads. What do you think? Long ways up. Yeah, it looks like a really good place to fish. We're going to set up rods on both sides of the bridge to find out which side is the best. Clinton has brought night crawlers, and I've got my Team Catfish spray marinated skipjack parts. And I've got some unmarinated parts too. Really hoping we're getting a bullhead on something. I think I've got one knot hooks too. Hook doesn't really matter on a bullhead, they're going to swallow it no matter what. I brought my bucket if we catch any small ones. In Tennessee, they're considered a class 3 bait fish. So whatever we catch here, we can only use in Fort Loudon Lake. According to the rangers that I talked to. I think you need a little bit more weight on that. <laughs> I'd say we'd probably get channel cats here too. I just hope we don't break our lines pulling them up to this bridge. I think I'm getting a turtle bite. Steal my bait. I just put it down there near that rock wall. Maybe that will keep it away from the turtles. I know bullheads like to get into things to hide. So they might be hiding all around those rocks. I guess we'll see what happens. Went and caught the first bullhead. So yes, they are here. A yellow bullhead. I'm gonna get the hook out and try to get some water in my bucket. This is perfect bait size right here. Oh, 
left my tackle bag at home, so I can't dehook this guy. But Clinton has some stuff, so he's getting it right now. That bullhead was caught on night crawlers. Should make some excellent flathead bait. Now hopefully we can catch a couple more. This side may be key, because there's a lot more rocks over here. And that's where he caught that one. We'll see if he catches more over here. <laughs> Clinton went off wandering around, seeing if he can find a better fishing spot here. I know across the way is the main pond, and there's like a pier or something over there. I got my light with me, so we're going to stay a little bit after dark, but not too much. I'm just hoping we can get a bullhead or two, and maybe take them fishing another day. Chase after some big flatheads. All these dark fishing poles are hard to see, too. Clinton is on fire tonight. He's got the second bullhead of the night. Yeah, that's perfect bait size there. Oh, that was on the... <laughs> that was on mine, too. That circle hook. So that's marinated skipjack one and... Nightcrawler's one. This guy came from the same general area, which is actually like a little, I don't know, a little canal over there. So they might be coming out of that canal. All right, bullhead number two into the bucket. Well, that's good. We're getting some bait. We'll get you some more hooks. They keep coming from this one side over here, so we're probably going to put more rods over here and see if we can get a couple. I'll catch anything? Yeah, little bullheads. Little bullheads? That's nice. Hey, that's a No problem. Well, good luck. Caught a tripod. Oh, there it is. Oh, they ate my worm. <laughs> well, that was kind of funny. I snagged on something and flipped up, hit the tripod. I don't think I slung the worm off, so something ate the worm off of this. Clinton is on fire with the bullheads. He just caught one under a big bobber. We were actually about to start reeling in and try uh, on the other side of the pond. <laughs> and I'm hung up on that one. So I think a bullhead pulled me under a rock or something. So that's three bullheads today. That's good bait. At least I hope it's going to be good bait. Cool. <laughs> yeah, on a giant bobber. So I we're gonna reel up and we're gonna see if we can figure out where to park on the other side of this pond. This dock is where we wanted to go, which is on the greenway. We do have a minor problem though. The parking is like a thousand yards that way. Or we could park at the Quality Inn, but I think they would run us off if we tried to park there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to call it for this video. We have three bullheads to fish with and a whole bunch of bluegill. So we're going to take them and try to go flathead fishing another day. In a spot on Fort Loudon where we're actually allowed to use the bullheads at. That I've caught flatheads before. And we're going to do it from our kayaks. So as always, thanks for watching and please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I try to come back here someday with a cart or something so I can carry all my stuff from a thousand miles away to this dock to fish. And I bet it's killer for carp too. Until next time.